Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. In this program, I want to review some recent events which I believe prophesy the downfall of the Catholic Church and the downfall of the United States of America. These events range from the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico to the lightning strike against the statue of Touchdown Jesus. First of all, I want to look at the perfect game pitched by Andrea Galarraga by Detroit against the Cleveland Indians. Now you might say God would not use sporting events to prophesy the future. But all I need to do is remind you about the Triple Crown prophecies of three years ago, which prophesied the defeat of Barack Obama and the United States. Remember Big Brown. He lost to a horse named Deptara in the Belmont Stakes that predicted that terrorism will defeat Barack Obama. Now getting back to this ball game. Now in this instance, I believe this perfect game depicted the downfall of the Catholic Church by the false prophet. The perfect game predicted the Catholic Church because even though the Catholic Church is not perfect, it symbolizes perfection because it is the bride of Christ. In this game, Galarraga made 27 batters go out. That's the minimum, except that the umpire made a terrible call on the last play. Jim Joyce called the batter safe at first when he was obviously out. This is very interesting because if you look at the replay, he was out by a good two feet. Now why would this happen? Now Jim Joyce is named after a very famous Irish writer by the name of James Joyce who was a notorious anti-Catholic. He apostatized from his Catholic faith. I believe he symbolizes the false prophet who will take over the Catholic Church. Notice that Galarraga had to pitch to 28 batters to win this game. 28 is, of course, a number of the end times, along with 4, 7, and 12, as you, my regular subscribers, well know. It's interesting that James Joyce was noted for his bad eyesight. He had at least seven or eight operations on his eyes. Not really a very good role model for a baseball umpire. He was not only blind spiritually, but physically as well. Now you might say, why doesn't God just give an obvious example? Why doesn't he just warn us very clearly? Well, he certainly did. For example, the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. That's a very obvious warning. And by the way, do you know what BP stands for? BP stands for Bible Prophecy. This was a warning, another warning to America. And let's look at the next warning. And that was the flash flood in Arkansas on June 11th. This was a warning of World War III. It had all the indications of World War III as described in Daniel, and in the book of Revelation. Number one, it was very sudden. Number two, it was very devastating. This flash flood uprooted asphalt even. Number three, it came in one hour, very much as described in the book of Revelation. And it was very deadly. These four characteristics show that this was a prophecy of World War III. And by the way, do you know where this flash flooding occurred? It occurred at the Albert Pike recreation area. Albert Pike was another notorious anti-Catholic. He was a Freemason. He wrote extensively about the Masonic Order. In fact, many people believe he also himself prophesied World War III. Another event which prophesied the downfall of the Catholic Church and Christianity and the United States of America was the lightning strike against the touchdown Jesus figure. Now, I personally think this was an ugly figure, and that's why God struck it down. I mean, you have Jesus halfway submerged into the ground and holding up his hands as if signaling a touchdown. This was very disrespectful in the first place. I think God struck this down because of the irreverent posture and the irreverent nature of this statue. But it also symbolizes the downfall of Christianity, particularly Catholicism, and the United States. All of these events, the baseball game, the flood, the BP oil spill, and the touchdown Jesus, these are all warnings to America. 
It should not take someone like me to explain them to you. And in fact, many of my scribers have told me that they believe these are clear warnings. And in fact, they are. And if you would like more information or a free copy of my book, Revelation Unraveled, simply write to the address you see on your screen.